And we are back here for the Redbird Rocket League LAN Spring 2023 Grand Finals. We have two Titans um, coming up against each other. Alina Esports Orange currently undefeated. They have not lost a series yet, while Northern Illinois University only series lost is to this Alina Esports Orange team. I'm pretty excited here, and I, I don't know which way this can go. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too. I think uh, with the momentum from the lower bracket, I think, uh, and I use a chance to come out strong in the beginning. Uh, we'll see how they look. Um, but otherwise, uh, I think Alina Esports are the favorites. Um, but, you know, never I would never discount that momentum, especially considering how close their first game was. Yeah, and again, with all that offense, they've just played a series. Um, NIU look like they want, you know, they want to take it, you know, they want to take this game um, by the horns and, again, keep that control that they just had. Hopefully that they can keep that up. But, you know, going into this next series, or the, this current series here, Alina Esports Orange, after a little bit of a break, they haven't played a series in, I think, about an hour. I don't know how they've been keeping warm. It's going to be interesting how they both teams, you know, really start off in this game one. Um, I believe we're almost ready here to get this game underway, and I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for this grand final. You know, the first grand final here of, um, at the LAN event with the potential bracket reset. That's going to yeah. be juicy. Yeah, we'll see how we get into this as we get into game one of our first potentially first best of five. Looks like a strong kickoff for Alina Esports Orange, but NIU get possession right away. A little bit of a carry here. And again, like I said, this first minute will be very crucial. NIU, they had a very good habit of scoring early and building on top of it. So it's gonna be interesting here. Um, Alina Esports Orange has a better feel to, you know, that start of the game, you know, that beginning. Um, and again, this team, Illini Esports Orange, they have all won a championship together. They've won the NCC LAN. Um, they know what it feels like to be in a grand final of this caliber. Um, as that ball gets played across, great block by SLK to, again, kind of keep that defense up. And that I feel like that's going to be the biggest indicator of the series as sleazily great shot straight down the middle, but enough power to get past Osho. Yeah, and if I'm an NIU fan right now, I am so thankful that they scored first. We've seen how powerful getting that first goal was. And, you know, just getting that getting that momentum going right off the bat. I mean, I can hear them. I've said it multiple times now, but we can hear them through the broadcast. And it looks like they might just get that one back right away, but not quite. But, yeah, I'm also wondering if that doesn't go in. Wow. Oh. Straight <laughs> off the post. Osho had to get a tough read. Those. That could bounce anywhere. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I'm also curious to see how fatigue comes into play here. Uh, we've been playing for multiple hours now, and, you know, sometimes uh, the play starts to get a little bit sloppy when you get tired like that, and I'm curious if that's gonna if we're going to see that impact on either team. Yeah, and again, it's all that offense that NIU just pulled out. It's going to be interesting if they can keep that up. They kept it up for three games, but again, if they want to win this entire thing, they got to keep it up for six total games there since they have two brackets to go through as Osho just dominates the field. He carries that ball. Wow. That was wow. a beautiful dunk from Osho. I don't even know how you read that touch from Hertz, but he has a beautiful touch on that, and that's just going to go right in, and we're going to be tied up with a minute and a half into the game. I think this was, you know, this is a difference between that the UIUC blue team and this Alana Esports orange team is that response as SLK says, we want this game. We know you just beat our second team. We're here to win it all. We're here to dominate as SLK goes up early, slams that off the, the ceiling and sleazily tough read as it's coming straight down into his net. Yeah, you hate to see that if you're uh, an NIU fan. That's just, t those reads are so challenging off the, like, uh, top of the dome there. And it looks like they might get another chance. That's just another one for Illini Esports Orange. They are taking control of this series early. They are dominating now. They are getting every kickoff. That's, you know, they're chaining kickoff goals here. It, that's, that's very tough for NIU because as they have to come back, they're going to have to go through more and more kickoffs, and they're going to have to get a good read on Illini Esports Orange. And they got to stop this bleeding because, again, it's only been 10 seconds, and two more goals have been added. Yeah, we'll have to see how the momentum kind of shifts now. They have uh, they've started to kind of solidify their lead and you know we don't see a kickoff goal right away uh, which is a good sign for niu but they're going to need to stabilize a lot more and start getting uh, some offensive pressure of their own if they want to have any chance of coming back in this game one yeah and something to note there is that you know both teams are looking kind of scrappy here a lot of double commits and i think there was even a triple commit out of niu trying to block slk shot a couple moments ago but both teams you know they got to lock down in their in their comms you know lock down in their play and you know have that trust in each other all these players probably have some great, you know, um, game IQ, but they have to, you know, trust in each other in any of these touches that 
um, they can keep their structure that they have had to, you know, lead them to this grand final. Yeah, both teams have looked great, but as I say that, SLK slots that in. That looked kind of awkward in the corner there. Sleazley was trying to get control, but it looks like he just made a little bit of a mistake, and I don't think his teammates were ready for that, and SLK is going to put that in the bottom right corner. Yeah, and, you know, as we mentioned before, this Illini Esports Orange team, they have, they've won a championship together this season. And, you know, SLK, two-time land winner, looking to solidify his third here. He has that experience. He knows what it feels like to be in this position, and he wants this win. You know, you could see it. His stat line says it all. He's playing well. He's being there for his team. And just like that, trying to, you know, he's trying to extend this again, trying to make a statement um, in this grand final. Yeah, you know, but one of the things that I've been liking about this NIU team is their mental resilience seems very strong. I They've been in a couple situations now, including the previous series, where, you know, they they started off losing, then they come they came back and won two. They didn't ultimately end up losing that series, but wow. this is a team so who cool. has a very strong mental, and uh, I think they're going to need to utilize that to uh, have any chance in this series. Yeah, a little bit of back and forth here. As again, NIU is looking to fight, trying to slot that bottom corner. SLK, though, he is there. He's covering every single corner. And again, those shots have to be placed. But again, all these players know how well of a shooter you can be on the pitch, how easy it is to just, you know, place a ball and beat a defender. But again, all that game IQ as he's slamming that across his own crossbar. I think he's uh, he's really, you know, pushing his limits here. But he's, he's claiming that this is his lobby right now. Yeah, uh, I have been liking NIU. Looks like they've stabilized quite a bit. They've gotten some offensive pressure on their own. And as I say that, that looks like it might just be a goal, and it is. Wow. You know, Moxie, it looks like he got another. I think he got a dunk here. Yeah, he did. And then that just leaves the net wide open, and Sleazily, he'll never miss those. Yeah, it's going to be interesting here how we're going to see a reaction from both teams. Again, it's another kickoff that has been going more in the favor of Illini Esports here. As, again, they, they've been cheating so well on these kickoffs to be getting possession, but that might be rolling in as, you know, NIU are throwing everything against this um, against this team to try and claw back with a minute left. They want everything um, to go their way and fall their way here. Yeah, I think if I'm NIU, even if I don't win this first game, I'm looking to at least make it just a one goal game. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier mentally uh, to deal with a one goal game than getting like absolutely destroyed. Um, and and I, th I think also that you know, like in, in Rocket League, you always have a chance, even uh, when there's zero seconds left on the clock. So, you know, I think if they can get a quick goal here, uh, I, I, I might like their chances going forward. Yeah, and I can agree with that one. Again, it's going to be interesting. You know, game one of a best of five is, you know, not the best game to lose, um, but it gives you some breathing room. And it's going to be something that I know you can definitely take with them that, you know, they, they know what they have to do in this next game because ever since... Um, Alana Esports scored those, you know, those two kickoff goals. NIU have solidified, you know, they've they've regained a little bit. They've stopped the bleeding, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot to come back from in game two. Yeah, we're gonna have to see how that plays out. Uh, it looks like this game is gonna be coming to an end in a few moments here, as I don't think NIU has any chance to score two in three seconds. Um, so what do you think? Uh, what what is what does NIU, NIU need to change here uh, going into game two? I think they definitely need to, you know, solidify that structure that they had. As Lisa Lee said, um, when they came into when he came in for our interview after winning, he you know he left a good point that he said each one of their players you know they know their role, they know what they have to do, they know their strengths, and I feel like they need to you know kind of bring that back. It looked like you know in that play that where they scored their second goal in that series that they had that you know they had that feeling you know they knew what they had to do, but um, they need to see how they can implement again their how they feel how they play against this, you know, this much stronger competition in Illini Esports Orange. Yeah, I feel like ever since we saw that, I think it was the game four of the upper finals, um, it, it, Illini Esports just haven't looked back, frankly. Um, they've looked pretty dominant in this first game. They look dominant. Um, and I think uh, NIU is looking good right now, but I don't think good is going to cut it against a team that's firing on all cylinders like Illini Esports Orange. Yeah, Illini Esports Orange, they're, you know, they're claiming this game. They know that game one, then... They want they want their names written on these trophies here. They are looking to you know kind of extend that lead going to this game two here as um, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight in this game two. It's going to be interesting to see how both teams react again um, as um, we get this underway with you know hopefully a very strong strong start from NIU if they want anything to say in this series. Yeah, we'll have to see how this plays out. Uh, from NIU, I think I just want to see them uh, kind of embrace it. Like you said, embracing those roles more. Um, I think they could benefit from going for demos. I've noticed Illini Esports does tend to overcommit a little bit. 
Um, so I think if they can capitalize on that overcommitment and get some demos, um, get some boost, boost stealing, I think they might have a chance going forward in the series. Yeah, and I can completely agree with that. Uh, Illini Esports Orange plays a very, you know, possession-based game. They like to chain off of each other. They like to play off of each other. Um, but again, if they have that structure as, wow, what a goal line save. It still slips in afterwards, you know, no one to clean up after that amazing diving save uh, there from Osho. But wow, this is a strong start again. And I used first last game. It's going to be interesting to see how Illini Esports can, you know, kind of react going into um, this first kickoff here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, NIU can uh, try to capitalize on their lead this time. Last time they let it get away from them pretty quickly. But I think if they can, you know, solidify for a little bit and just, you know, play time, I think uh, the momentum mm -hmm. will benefit them after having get, gotten the first goal. Yeah, and again, that physical play, I mean, it looks like Illini Esports, they're kind of, you know, they're adapting. They know that what NIU wants to do, they know that they have to be aggressive and a series like this but um they can't let up you know Illini esports can't can't let up they got to keep that you know that pedal to the metal as they look to you know capitalize in this you know kind of extended offensive pressure that they've had in this um in this last 30 seconds yeah we're gonna see them getting possession in the corner but you know uh Illini esports is still sticking around here and they're gonna make it as annoying as possible for niu to get any offensive chances going stealing boost getting bumps um, they're not going to have a chance to really solidify their attack going forward. And we're probably, I think we're just going to see a midfield battle here uh, going forward for at least another minute here. Yeah, it's kind of slowed down. I think that was a very soft touch. Maybe not what V was expecting. It's, it's, it's hard to tell as SLK was also barreling down. Maybe a miscom happened because that looked like a very strong opportunity. This ball's bouncing down, might roll in. Moxie doubles NIU's lead. And this is something that's different from the last couple of games. It's looking more reminiscent of that loser's finals where they want to capitalize. They want to, you know, take this game and keep running with it, keep running with every goal that they can get. That is a beautiful challenge there from Moxie. He just goes up and completely reads SLK and then gets a nice touch and, you know, it just bounces right under the bar. But yeah, I think that aggression uh, is going to be something that NIU can rely on. I feel like in the first game, they were kind of giving Alina Esports Orange so much space. And when you have a team that's this, this mechanical, they're going to take advantage of that and they're going to punish you for giving them that space. Yeah, I can agree with that wholeheartedly. It's it's going to be interesting. Just again, this reaction is that they're connecting just like that. As long as they can recycle possession, it's like, it's looking like a NIU team that wants to you know force this bracket reset. Yeah, we're going to see the uh, Illini Esports Orange getting a bit of a scoring opportunity here. Wow. And that is a beautiful shot from Osho, but Sleasley's there to save it. And V is going to go for a bit of a play of his own. But we're going to have Sleasley and Hertz combining for that clear there. I don't know. It's just a feeling here, but I feel like if, if Illini Esports Orange gets a goal on the board, um, it's going to be like opening the floodgates. I feel like both teams know that this is, uh, you know, sometimes um, offense is the best defense. Um, if that happens, but NIU have been looking solid. They have not, you know, they're doing much better in kind of controlling that, um, controlling the ball, controlling their possession, even in their own half with all the pressure against them. As they throw a shot on net, look to recycle the play, it spills out to uh, NIU player. But again, that fake challenge is fine. They're keeping possession. They're not letting Illini Esports get any sniff on that ball. Yeah, I think if uh, NIU can just kind of maintain possession and not really overcommit, um, I think they can just honestly play the timeout. Uh, it's two minutes is a long time, but you know if they if they keep possession and they're careful uh, not to overcommit or anything, um, I think they have a good chance to just win this game without even letting uh, Illini Esports into it. Yeah, we're gonna see. You know, a minute thirty left. You know, not too much time, but again, one goal is gonna make this difference here. Either way it goes, it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be pretty telling of what the series has in store. Is that just rifles into the top left? This, wow, this NIU team, it looks like they're, they've are they recovered from that game one. And they've just offensively just great. Just look at that placement from, that looks like, that's the middle of the field right there going all the way top left. The precision that Hertz has to score that. He looks alive again. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot from Hertz. And I think I said it last time I casted this team, but they, they need to be using Hertz. Uh, he's been very strong. Uh, the whole team has been uh, incredibly strong, but Hertz especially has been, you know, kind of like a the, fulfilling the janitor role and he's been getting a lot of good shots on target. And I think if they enable that behavior from him, then uh, it's going to be uh, uh, dangerous for Illini Esports Orange. Yeah, a minute left. I mean, you know, miracles do happen. We haven't seen it yet today, but 
um, earlier, you know, when these guys played in the winners' finals, this went this went the distance, and this is this game too is very you know is very indicative of what could come in this series. You know, what do both teams have in store in game three? What do both teams have in store? You know, to kind of um, take that you know then a two one lead as um, you know clock the clock dwindles down here in game two. Yeah, you know, this is actually seeming very reminiscent of that first game they played earlier with uh, Illini Esports winning the first one in a pretty tight game and then uh, NIU coming back and, you know, kind of uh, just beating them, like, like very strongly. Um, and, you know, if, if that trend follows, uh, I'm not sure that NIU is going to let Illini Esports come back again like they did last time. Uh, so we'll have to see how that plays out. We, I could very much see wow, getting a bracket reset from there. <laughs> okay, this ball should be hitting the ground here any second with a strong, a strong performance in game two here from NIU. Um, if you're um, Illini Esports Orange, what are you discussing in this, you know, this little break here? Uh, I think they need to work on uh, combining and using passing plays to get out of their own zone. I think a lot of the time in that game they were under a lot of pressure. Um, the fact that they only conceded three goals is kind of impressive considering how much pressure they were under. But, you know, I think they really have to prioritize uh, using each other and um, just using, like, passing plays to get out and get offensive opportunities. Yeah, I can completely agree there. I mean, it, that, you know, that game, too, looked reminiscent of that loser finals where um, at NIU had that, you know, that, that, that cohesion where they all, they all knew what each other wanted to do, you know. Um, each, I'm pretty sure each goal was assisted again, which they've been doing a lot. They've been playing off of each other. They've been getting touches that have led to goals. You know, a lot of infield passes, a lot of, you know, just 50-50s that spills out to a teammate. And it's going to be interesting this year to see here if Alana Esports can kind of shut that down, you know. Um, if they can maybe throw in some slow, you know, some slow plays where they take a challenge to not force that 50 um, to kind of, you know, regain that control that they have lost over game two. Yeah. Uh, I think whoever wins this game, I, I'm liking their odds going forward into the rest of the series. Um, but we're going to see SLK getting a demo on the goal line there. This could be dangerous for NIU as it looks like they're all pretty low on boost. Osho is going to get a 50 there, which SLK will probably be able to take possession of. I think this is the longest we've gone without scoring a goal in the first minute here. So, so this is pretty impressive from both teams. It might be, it might be the nerve settling in here, um, but... Again, it's very tight, very tight. That it could go anyway. I'm, I'm still, I'm still open to this game going the distance and having a, another OT to finally, ooh, to finally decide it. But that ball, I do not know how that didn't go in the net. I felt like that would broken the net if that was even possible in this game. That ball was, was traveling so fast, but lines on SLK's head and he gets a clear out. Yeah, that was a screamer from Hertz there. Uh, Alina Esports Orange is going to be so Ooh. thankful that that one doesn't go in. Moxie's going to get a demo on Osho there, and it looks like NIU might have a chance, but as I say that, <laughs> NIU save. almost concedes a goal there, but Sleazily's there for the save. Looks like they're trying to get a passing play going to get the ball out of their zone, but it's not quite going to materialize for them. Osho's going to go for a bit of a solo play here. Looks like V might have a chance to go there. Sleazily's going to pass it. Moxie can't really get there. Oh, a bit touches. of a missed touch from SLK. Wow. We're going to have to see how this offensive pressure, if it materializes for NIU or not. They've had pretty good pressure for the past 20 seconds oh or so. Oh, my God. Both teams now just slamming the ball off the crossbar. They want it. They want. They know that what they need to do is, you know, get that ball traveling fast enough so that no one can even pre-jump it or read it. But both teams, you know, it's that precision that uh, NIU, um, we saw it in the losers' finals. They were very clinical. And this Illini Esports roster, very clinical in game one. But now both teams kind of waiting and... Wow, Hertz makes that shot so hard for V to save it as Moxie. Again, it's this team play. Again, another infield pass and a great placement there just right right on V. What a beautiful read from Hertz there. It looked like he jumped before uh, Moxie even uh, finished uh, completing the pass. And, you know, that's the kind of team play that we've been seeing from NIU this whole t this whole uh, LAN, really. We're going to see Sleazily going for a bit of a solo play here. It looks like he might just oh tuck gosh, that one in. Oh, goes in. Wow, what a mechanical wow. play there from Sleazley. He gets the flip reset. It looks like he kind of botched the musty, but, I mean, if it goes in, it goes in. Plays it under SLK, and V just can't quite get there. And we're going to see NIU uh, solidifying their lead with uh, about halfway through the game. This is, like, this is, you know, besides these beautiful goals, this is a, you know, this is a run back of game two there. 2-0 two lead for um, NIU, and Atlanta Esports not doing much to respond. They're, you know, they've fallen asleep a little bit, um, but... 
you know, what, w when will they get their playback? When will they, you know, come back from this, you know, now two games in a row, two goal deficits, um, and no goals to show. They haven't scored a goal now in what looks like almost 10 minutes of Rocket League, but a pinch flies across the field. No one able to capitalize on it, though. I feel like Illini Esports Orange can let out a little sigh of relief as Hertz is, they want, they want more. They, they want three, they want four. They want to keep pushing. Yeah, you know, I think one of the things you said last game was that once uh, Illini Esports Orange score once, that the floodgates will open. Well, it didn't happen last game, but I have to imagine it's going to be the same this game. But we've seen a lot of pressure from NIU onto the Illini Orange half. And as I say that, it's going to pinch right in for Illini Esports Orange. And now it has me wondering, is that going to be the opening of the floodgates? Yeah, it will be interesting. Again, this is just a 50-50. Again, a good 50-50 win, something that was not happening in previous games. Um, I feel like Illini Esports Orange were not getting that favorable, those favorable 50-50s. But finally, um, they went to fall their way, and it falls straight into the net. And um, no kickoff goal for here just yet for either team. Um, it's gonna be interesting as V is up for this slot that Wow, wow, and they they are excited for that goal. That was a beautiful pass from SLK there, and you can see V totally trusting his teammate. He goes up for that, and he just absolutely rips that one. Hertz had a great effort to try to save that, but that one was just going way too fast for him to save it. Yeah, and I was gonna say uh, with this Atlanta Esports roster, game one it was it was really Osho and SLK on the board. I did not. V was very, you know, he was. He was being that like meteor, mediator. He was staying in that midfield. He was controlling the defense, but not too much offensively. And I feel like that's one of his strong suits here as he got on the board, a good infield pass as it goes straight in. Wow. wow. What a play from NIU. We see Moxie hitting the initial touch and then demoing V out of the play. Sleazily passes it in and Hertz is completely ready for that. And he just slots that one right over both of the defenders. We're going to see NIU getting the lead back pretty quickly, and I'm I'm glad to see that from them. Uh, previously, when we saw uh, Alina Esports score two qu pretty quick goals, uh, it seemed like NIU kind of crumbled and didn't really know what to do, but uh, I think that's going to be great for them going forward, getting that one right back. Yeah, and it's just like you know we were both saying, the moment Alina Esports Orange you know scored that first goal after going two goals down, the floodgates would open, and we've had three goals since then. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a tight tight finish as again no, neither team wants to lose this game this is a very you know this game puts it on match point with a minute left it's going to be tense yeah we're, and we'll have to see if this game ends up going all the way and then you know even further going to a bracket reset after wow. that but what a shot from V he slots it right in the corner that is uh, pretty much unsavable you see Hertz had to jump to respect the hard shot and you know v hits him with a bit of a change up there and puts it in the bottom corner yeah and again it's very very tight there where um it looked like v had very little booster but he was committing to the play he knew what he has to you know he knows what he has to do you know sometimes boost um isn't worth it it's worth to commit to the play and right there he knew it as they try to look for the 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 go away goal to take the lead there but now niu they're kind of on their heels as um, a little bit of a cluster is happening. SLK with a great fake trying to infield pass there. Not much, but they're they're keeping this ball in the blue half in this last 30 seconds. Yes, Leasley's going to get a bit of a double off the sidewall to try to alleviate some of that pressure. Um, but I'm I'm I, I think Alina Esports is looking really good right now. Uh, and that one might just be that in. Just it's be over Sleasley, and that's in. Oh <sighs> no! Wow. That, that could be the nail in the dagger for game three here. And, you know, I think if Illini Esports can convert this lead that they just got, uh, I, I've, I got to say, I'm not sure NIU can come back from that. Yeah, and I can completely agree there. It's, it's a great cut, though. If you look at that buildup, SLK, he's a very aggressive player. Where he wants to keep that ball. He wants it to be um, in possession of um, the Illini Esports Orange team. And a lot of whiffs happening on the goal line. Zero seconds here. He is up. Oh, oh my God. God. Off oh. the post. That corner of the post. Wow. That both teams are liking and hating that post all at the same time. They're wow. Man, that had me that had me jumping. I was so sure that one of them was gonna hit that. I saw both of the players on Alana Esports Orange miss, and you know, my heart just sank for them. Like I just thought they were gonna throw that one. And you know, if 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 they give up that zero second goal, I'm not liking their odds in that overtime. Yeah. Um but you know, they can thank that post now. You know, it went off that joint of the post, you know, right off the corner. You know, hard to shoot that ball. I looked like every Illini Esports Orange player jumped for that ball to block Sleasley shot there. But they did just enough, you know, to keep that ball out of the net. And, you know, 
it's gonna be it's gonna be tight here. It's gonna be you know it feels like heartbreak for NIU, but they have you know they have one more game here. You know this is this is everything on the line here, and I feel like a strong showing here really you know determines what is in store for the series. Yeah, this is their moment to really uh, show that they can contend with these teams. They've proven that they can be competitive. Um, you know, but I think uh, obviously they need to win to continue the series and continue their tournament. But well, we'll have to see how they can stabilize after uh, what might have been kind of a tilting uh, end, end of game three. Yeah, and this could be it. This could be our final game of the Redbird Rocket League LAN um, event here. And it's going to be a strong start here. NIU looking to go ahead. Um, Hertz should be getting back here. And again, it's very it's looking very back and forth as both Alana Esports Orange player die for that ball. And SLK, he, he just has that trust. He has that feeling that um, every, every move that they're making right now is the correct play. Yeah, they've been looking great uh, ever since, I would say, about uh, two, two and a half minutes through that third game. Uh, Alina Esports Orange have looked pretty dominant. But we'll have to see if that can convert into game four. Um, I wonder if NIU has any tricks in the bag for us. Yeah, a little bit of a... It's died down a little bit as... Wow, SLK being a menace on the field. He's very aggressive, gets both of those players on the goal line to jump and put that pressure in V. All he has to do is slot that ball in the net, and he does that perfectly. Wow. Yeah, that was a great shot from V there. And, you know, I wonder if that might just be it. That might be the beginning of the end here for NIU. Uh, their tournament lives are on the line. But we'll have to see if they can come back from this. Yeah, it's going to be interesting here. A great infield pass. Great fake. Might go over two with the bump. Wow. What an equalizer there from Hertz. Wow. I'm, yeah. I'm speechless. That was a great pass from Sleasley. I didn't even consider that that was an option, but he finds it. And then we even see him go and get the bump, too, on V just to make sure that one was going in. I think that's I think that's one of the best plays of the day so far. I mean, Sleasley, he's, he's been a highlight player. He had that, that musty. Um, it looked like a fake musty last game, but... This game, he's he pulled off that insane pass. You know, I, I, I didn't even know he was going to do that. And I feel like I have a very good read of the game. But, wow, yeah, that infield pass and to, you know, stay on, stay aggressive, um, put that pressure on is what, you know, what really makes or breaks games where, um, you know, things might not be falling on the car, but all you have to do is hit the car, you know, go for those yeah. bumps, go for those aggressive plays here. As it's all tied up. You know, this is, this is a very, very tense game. Yeah, it looks like we've stabilized a little bit here in game four. We had a lot of early goals, but it looks like now finally we're having some uh, midfield battles. Although, as I say that, <laughs> Alina Esports Orange is getting a lot of good attacking chances right now. They've got a lot of pressure built up, and we'll have to see if NIU can neutralize that as Moxie clears it down the field. I don't know. It's, it's getting really... I feel like it's super tense in here. I feel like I have to open a window. I feel like there's too much pressure going on, and I feel like it's very, very hard to, to even breathe in here as... Again, it's just suffocating. Both teams, when they get the ball, when they get sustained possession, the other team is just hoping that the ball doesn't go in, you know? Yeah, you know, I we, we saw on the online section of this uh, tournament for the qualification, we did see that um, NIU did beat Alina Esports Orange. Um, so, you know, I think, I think we, they've proven that they can beat them before, but if that translates into this land environment. Yeah, and it, I mean, again... Um, we said that in, in the winners finals where these two teams faced each other and in that in that series and you went 2-1 up in the series and it looked like it was going to be a repeat but Illini Esports Orange said um, you guys aren't writing the book of our championship run and they said they want it and right now um, it's very tense for both teams you know right now it's it's in the it's in Illini Esports Orange hands to you know close out this tournament but I know you aren't down and out yet you know they're still here they're still um, ready to write their chapter in this event. Yeah, with that said, looks like Moxie's going to have a slot. What a beautiful pass from Sleasley there, enabling his teammate Moxie, who gets an absolutely beautiful redirect uh, right into the top section of the goal. Yeah, and again, they're combining. This NIU team is so good at combining in plays. I, again, I feel like none of their goals have been goals that weren't assisted by another player. Again, either 50-50, infield pass. Again, that's been their bread and butter, you know. If, I feel like if you look up infield pass in a, in a textbook, NIU is coming up. They've been they've been perfecting it all tournament long. Yeah, it's looked great, but we'll see a chance for Alina Esports Ooh. Orange that looks like it got tipped out by SLK at the last second. That one might have been a goal, which could have tied us this uh, game up with a minute and a half left to go. I this this game has been taking so many twists and turns, and 
every single play, like right there, the pinball is insane. It's just, when will this ball fall in? And will this ball, you know, what will it do? As every player wants this ball to help them extend their lead. As Sleazily is up here, not enough boost to get to that ball. Falls to Moxie as they look to, you know, hopefully extend this lead and force game five. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to game five if we get there. I'm really hoping we do. Uh, if we can get a bracket reset, that would be awesome too, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. It looks like Moxie's going to play it downfield. I wonder if he got a flip reset there. Can't, I can hardly tell. Sleazley is going to play it high. He does get a flip reset off that. He's going to try for the musty, but Osho gets a uh, touch off the ceiling. Yeah, we're just about 45 seconds left in this game. It's going to be very, very tense for Lina Esports Orange, you know. They, they still have one more life, you know, but they're on the verge of being bracket reset. It's going to be very, very tense here. Yeah, and going into that bracket reset, I know we're not quite there yet, but I'm sure we're not going to have much of a chance to talk about it in Game 5, is, you know, who are we favoring there? If we do get to the bracket reset, I mean, you have to think that NIU is going to have a chance off of the momentum, and speaking of momentum, they're going to probably put the nail in the coffin here in Game 4. Yeah, it's looking like Game 5 is set in stone. We will be heading to Champions Field to either crown a champion or force another series to you know figure out who will be taking home our trophies yeah i'm looking forward to it uh this game five i can already tell is going to be an absolute bloodbath as we see both of these teams uh vying for their chance to uh, define their legacy yeah i mean as this clock as, as this clock dwindles down it's again just a matter of how will both teams react here how will niu feel you know, they've been they've been connecting again. Every single goal looks like a connection. Again, we're going to be heading into game five here to either determine our Redbird Rocket League land spring 2023 champion or if we see a bracket reset out of NIU. Yeah, something I'm loving right now is I'm hearing the applause in the in the arena right now. Um, I think everyone just wants to see the best Rocket League they can. Um, and we have some of the best teams to show us uh, what good Rocket League looks like. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to be tense. I mean, all these fans here, they've been they've been cheering away. They've been supporting their teammates, whether um, um, it's in series, you know, different series, whoever they're playing. No matter how big the the um, the difficulty it is to, you know, overcome, you know, those top seeds, those very high seeds in this tournament. But again, all these players have made it here they qualified for the land they fought their way here and now we're in this grand final coming into game five yeah as we go into the game five here i believe um i'm really curious what i i'm not sure what to expect here i think if niu can keep up the passing plays uh i think i'm liking them in this game but it's really hard to tell with how uh back and forth this series has been yeah it's gonna be a great showing here as sok barely misses that ball and i feel like that would have been such a hot start for the series as moxie looks to you know, they, they both have a say here as that's also off the post. It's it's getting dicey. It's getting very dicey here. Yeah, I'm expecting whoever scores first here is going to let out an absolute roar from the eSports arena here at Illinois State University. That is a close one there for SLK making the save on the goal line. Yeah, this ball pops out. Third man does not want to commit, which is very fair. I feel like both teams don't want to let out a, a loose goal. This is going down. Osho should have a read. Not off. Not on post. Yeah, he's going to play it down, but Moxie gets in the way of that pass. That is that is a great read. Hertz gets a demo. Oh. This is kind of free for Sleazley, but that is a tough angle, which he almost converts. Looks like V got back to that, though. We're going to see SLK taking control in the NIU corner. I wonder what he's going to be able oh, to do. He, he two beats jump. two, but Sleazley with the beautiful save there. Looks great like he's going to try to get a dunk on V, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, and I think another important thing here is to, you know, to look and see um the boost control is either team gonna you know go for you know safer shots control that boost and grind away chip away at the opponent's net and hopefully something falls in or if we're gonna see another highlight reel i mean again we've seen both teams with great highlight reels moxie with a great demo to cut it out fairly wide from osho to try and capitalize in a 2v3 it's tense yeah i saw sleazily going for that boost and you know, part of me just thought oh well what if that bounces off the post Thankfully for him, it didn't happen. We're going to see Hertz going for a demo here. Oh, Field's pretty field open pass. for NIU there. Moxie can't quite get there. Looks like they're going to keep up their pressure, though, as Hertz, it looks like he stole the corner boost. Oh. Sleazley might have a chance here, but SLK gets in the way. Yeah, a lot of good challenges coming out of this Illini Esports Orange team. This is a tough ball to read. Osho there every day of the week. He is he's keeping his team within the series. Yeah, it looks like the pressure so far in this game has favored NIU pretty heavily. Um, Illini Esports oh, has had a challenge. couple chances on the other side, but nothing's really been very concrete. 
Oh, that that's a dangerously floating ball there, but it looks like SLK wow. will be able to get up to that. Sleazily has so much boost to stay on it. Flip reset off the post. And it's in! Wow, what a play from Sleazily. And like I've been saying, he's been a highlight real player. Highlight after highlight, play after play. He is forcing this Illini Esports Orange team to be very awkward. I mean, you saw, you saw SLK jumping off the post there, not knowing how fast he's going to slam that ball. And just like that, the pressure builds up, the pressure pops, NIU first goal. Yeah, that was a beautiful play there from NIU. And you even saw them doing a bit of a passing play. Well, the, whether that was intentional or not, we're going to see Sleazily with a beautiful oh play God. off the ceiling there. That has to be one of the most mechanical goals I've seen all tournament. He's He wants this. He wants to come back that wow, wave dash shot. It's hard to get to those. Even if you can read it, anything can happen with that flip. Once he gets that off the ceiling, anything can happen. Well, with exactly half of the game done, uh, done, it looks like NIU have come into this uh, absolutely swinging. You can tell how much uh, they want to see themselves in that bracket reset. I feel like this, I, I don't know, this is just you know another feeling of my own, but I feel like this could be going into OT if, you know, Alana Esports Orange, again, it's just like game one, just like game three. Um, two O's, two O's, and it's going to come back, but that's falling straight in. It's looking grim. That is a great cut there from Moxie. He completely read the play, and he just said, okay, well, someone's coming for that. I'm just going to play it right below them, and he just gets the free shot of his career. Yeah, and are you looking to play spoiler in this, you know, this championship celebration for Lana Esports Orange? Um, not quite done yet. We might be heading into a bracket reset if nothing can come out of this uh, game five for... Oh, I, I wasn't even orange and that's four. That's I wasn't four even goals. I wasn't even expecting that one to go in. I'm not really sure what happened there. I don't know. Did someone miss the boost or it looks like V just over rotated there? I'm not really sure what happened, but you know I'm not liking that. That that's a bad look for Alana Esports Orange here as we uh, get to a point in the game where they're gonna kind of need to start having a miracle to even have a chance to force overtime in this game five. Yeah, it's gonna be tense. It's gonna be very very tense here to see what will happen. Um, Again, anything can happen in Rocket League, but a minute 30 to score four goals against this very solid NIU team is, I don't think anyone can do it. Yeah, I'm not sure it's going to happen either. NIU's defense has looked pretty pretty solid in the, in the games that they've uh, managed to come away from with a win. Well, we're going to see them applying even Another more pressure, one. and it looks wow. like they might get a fifth, but not quite going to happen. Yeah, and they want to just wind down this clock for a bracket reset. It's, it's going to be scary. It's going to be scary what might come after the series, you know. It looks like two two straight game wins for NIU, two dominant game wins for NIU um, against Illini Esports Orange here. Yeah, it looks like the key for NIU is just neutralizing uh, Illini Esports' offense. Um, almost all the games that they've won have been uh, where Illini Esports Orange just haven't scored. And yeah. obviously that's the best way to win a game in Rocket League is just to not let your opponent score. But, you know, when you're playing against a super-powered team like Illini Esports Orange, that's uh, much easier said than done. Yeah, I mean, clean sheets are hard to come by in Rocket League. Um, even some of the best teams in the RLCS, they can score every goal. And just like that, I mean, uh, they're just playing so well right now, playing so many good touches, making the the Illini Esports Orange team so awkward. And again, it's what can you do? I mean, there's so little time left. It's it's really just looking forward to this next series. Yeah, I don't know what was happening there with Osho. I don't know if the pressure's gotten to him or what, but he like looked like he jumped and then made a mistake and couldn't tell if he should go down or try to stay up, but that's just going to be the fifth goal for NIU. And, you know, uh, it looks like we're definitely going to have that bracket reset. Yeah, it's going to be tense. It's going to be it's gonna be a nail-biter, I'd have to say. Uh, I I do not know um, what both teams have in store with the strong reaction. I mean, NIU, all they have to do is keep playing this game, keep playing this very, very aggressive game here that they've been loving. They, they are... Um, I feel like they're an embodiment of a cannon. They just keep firing. They, they're letting out rifle after rifle after constant just laser downfield. Yeah, and that's going to bring us to the end of Game 5 in our first series. Of course, uh, being a double elimination bracket, we do have a bracket reset coming up where uh, NIU will have the chance to stake their legacy and um, get the win in this yeah. tournament. Um, we're going to take a quick break, though, give these players a little bit of time to kind of mentally reset here. Um, we'll be back right um, with the grand final.
Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we are here for the bracket reset. Uh, very, very glad that we uh, have the bracket reset. Um, it's going to be a great game. Uh, we saw a lot of back and forth in Series 1, and I wonder if you think that's going to continue in Game 2, or Series 2. I mean, after those last two games, Game 4 and Game 5 from NIU, it's a strong showing. I mean, in these, in this couple-minute couple, couple minute break there of Illini Esports Orange, who knows what they what they talked about, how they feel, how they're mentally resetting. Because, again, this is a whole new series. Clean slate, both teams. Um, anything can happen. I believe that um, if they use that experience that they've built up on from previous lands, that they know what they need to do in order to solidify this series. I mean, they had the lead going into game four, but NIU said, we want this. We want this land win. We want to, you know, we've made a deep run now, both teams fighting for um, fighting for it all in this last series. Yeah, I'm also curious if, you know, that first loss, and you already had it, they, that's already behind them. I wonder if that's going to be something that's challenging for uh, Illini Esports Orange to get over. Um, you know, they've been flawless up to this point, and I wonder if them losing that game is going to kind of start the domino effect that leads to NIU claiming the victory here. Yeah, I mean, just as the players get ready to join here, I mean, we're, they're, these two teams are now 1-1 one one at this event. You know, Illini Esports Orange winning that winner's final, and now NIU winning in this grand final to force a bracket reset. And it's going to be tense. Yeah. There, I hear a lot of clapping outside. I feel like all the fans, all the players are ready to get the show on the road here to continue this great, great series that we've been having today. Yeah. As we let, let, let's get into it. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I'm excited for this series. It's going to be a very interesting back and forth. Again, every single game, that first minute of play was the most important where Who's getting this breakaway goal? Who's getting that first goal? And who's going to extend on it? Because both teams, they've scored first. They extend. No team. Neither team has really forced a, a, too much of a back and forth. As they missed the ball there. Great. Great cutback for V. You know, he needs to keep his team in this again. Those early goals have been killer for both teams. Yeah, we're going to see. Um, I'm just curious to see if uh, the gameplay looks a little bit different to me. It seems a, a lot faster. I wonder if the reality has really set in of what this game means. And we're going to see wow. a great play there from Sleazley, who has looked absolutely fantastic in this grand final. Yeah, and I've been saying it a lot how a lot of these NIU goals have been have have not been going unassisted, but this one unassisted, but a great chase there from from the NIU you know blockers trying to get rid of that defense again. Probably one of the better ways to get rid of a defense or to get past defense is to just get rid of them. You know, yeah. just bump them out, demo them, do whatever they can in order to get past as, you know, again, early goal, first first minute of the game. As they wow. Again, this combination, Moxie Hurts, they've been they've been doing so well all all day long of finding each other in this pitch. Man, that was such a great reflex there from Hertz. I, I the comms must have been great there that he he was able to turn for that with zero boost and managed to put that one away. That's a great great vision there for Moxie to find him there. Again, 2-0. This has been a common occurrence all every time we've had NAU on here. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. So quickly too. Not even a minute has gone by and they're up 2-0 again in this game 1. Yeah, they're looking great right now. They're coming out of the gates swinging, and I wonder if Illini Esports Orange is going to be able to, um, you know, kind of, I don't know, come up with a solution here. They looked kind of lost towards oh, the end of the last pass. series. Wow. But, you know, their offensive opportunities are kind of falling flat, and I don't know if that's just the opportunities themselves being weak or if NIU's defense is just that good. Oh, sleazily, I'm, I'm so ready to see more highlight plays come out of this man as he, they're placing great shots on net and forcing this this um, Illini Esports Orange roster to be a little iffy as Osho goes for a great touch off the backboard. SLK, they're committing a lot of boost for these plays. You saw both of them now on zero, leaving V all the way back. But thankfully, you know, they can they can um, breathe a little bit as NIU were not ready for that play. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit of a resurgence here from Illini Esports Orange. They're getting a pretty good possession here that looks like it might have a couple chances hidden uh, in the rough here, but they haven't really... Quite right had a speed. chance to convert, oh. and that was a gorgeous shot from Osho, but it was just a little bit high, and Sleazily was positioned perfectly to keep it out of the net. Yeah, and it's hard to tell if Sleazily knew where that ball was going. I mean, he was he was just kind of doing his you know his back post rotation, and you're doing the right thing, and the ball just falls on his lap. He saves it as Hertz almost slots another shot. It's scary. I think it's scary, pretty scary to face this NIU team as they're firing on all cylinders. Yeah, they're looking great right now. And we're going to see Sleazily with another perfect shot in wow. the top of the net. You know, if this is the NIU that's come to play in the grand finals, I would not be surprised if we see this one uh, not even going to game five. 
Yeah, it's they're looking dominant. I mean, this will be their third straight win against Illini Esports Orange um, during this grand final. And it's going to be, it's again, it's hard to come back from such a solid team, solid play. Everything is going in uh, um, NIU's favor right now. Yeah, and it looks like they're going to get another chance right away. Moxie just playing it into the other zone. Wow, great speed. who gets a shot, but SLK is there for the save. And it's like you said, at the beginning of the game, even the, in those first 30 seconds, just the feeling, you know, how fast these players are moving. They want to solidify this game just like that. Again, Hurts slotting that perfect placement. Alina Esports Orange trying to rotate back out, but look at that. That middle of the field so open and just that placement across the net perfectly placed. I've been so impressed with Hertz's shooting. I don't even know how he got that much power on that one. I probably wouldn't have even been able to put that on target, but you know, he manages to get good good enough power on it to where they can't catch up to it. It's 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 an amazing display in this game one of this grand final as you know Atlanta Esports Orange climb back. They got one, they got one on the board, you know. They're not going, they're not leaving without anything here in in uh, this game one yeah you know they 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 let in a lot of goals but you know they got one back and i think uh, that's that's obviously where it has to start it all starts with one um and i think that's going to be great for their mental here uh like i said almost all of NIU's victories have been shutouts um so i think preventing that from happening is going to be great for uh alana esports is mental even if they don't end up winning this game I don't know. I don't want to call call this game early or anything since, again, Alina Esports Orange had a very strong, you know, they had a strong comeback, but again, that many goals to come back from, just like that, just as I was saying, anything is possible. 4-2. Two. two goals. They've done it. They've scored, you know, two. They scored twice in 30 seconds here. It's going to be interesting. Interesting closer here. Yeah, do you think that, you know, this is where, uh, when you're NIU, do you start to worry here? Or are you still are you still cool, calm, and collected, and you're acting as though that four, you haven't, they haven't already sliced that four goal lead in half? I think you have to, you know, you have to just keep in mind, again, we knew that, we know this NIU team plays well when they're, when they're playing their game. They're, they're playing off of each other. And I think the biggest thing here is not turtling, you know, keeping offensive pressure, keeping the ball on their hoods. As again, they let the ball fall out to Lina Esports Orange. They're letting the boost fall to them. And again, this is a great play here for SLK to kind of capitalize. Maybe get the read off the bar. Oh my gosh, I feel like NIU can can breathe after that one. I mean, they have already conceded twice and they can take that post and you know, I, I'd I'd be hugging that post right now, thanking it for, for that block. Yeah, that was that was crazy from SLK there. If he scores that, we're oh. going to see Osho with a little bit of a fake play there, it looked like. And now it's within one, and with 40 seconds left, this is very doable for Alina Esports Orange. And it's not over. I mean, I was saying it earlier at two minutes. I was like, this is very difficult for them. But as I said it, they kept clawing back. They're not out. You know, this game, the clock hasn't hit zero. Anything is possible. 40 seconds as well. With the rate that they were scoring, V with a great beat there. And again, it's all the pressure is ly lying on NIU's hands. I mean, they're all being passed. Alina Esports Orange are all being passed. They know what they have to do. They know they can give up any space, but that miss there is crucial. You can't yeah. be missing a touch like that in, in what it feels like such a great comeback. Yeah, Sleasley just has a has a nice... I don't even know what to call that, if Tuck called a fake or not. I wonder if, uh, you know, V let the pressure get to him a little bit and he felt need the need to challenge really early there, but he did, and, you know, Sleasley's happy to punish him for it, and... You know, I think now that you get that goal, if you're NIU, you can you can exhale, you can you can relax a little bit because you know they're gonna have to score two in 20 seconds to force overtime. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I mean, this is uh, every time these teams have played, it's been a little bit of a flip flop here, and this one especially where I think NIU, you know, they're winning game two here. They they get to take that series lead. Yeah, you know, we're gonna see if that really benefits them going forward. We've seen a lot of ga we've seen game five in every single uh, series we've had so far. But you know, if, if I'm a if I'm NIU, I'm very happy with that performance. Yeah, especially you know, I feel like conceding those three goals is probably crushing. You know, they built up four goal lead so early on, but coming down three goals, um, you know, one goal away from tying it up, forcing an overtime. But again, they can pray or they can th be thankful. You know that um, that you know they had a great beat on V. To, you know solidify that two goal lead you know kind of um you know s relax you know they're they're under a lot of pressure there to almost throwing a four goal lead which is almost impossible if i were to say so yeah you know and i think it's great for their mental too you know you you almost throw that game but you you know stay strong you get another goal and then you can breathe and you can say 
we came we stopped them from coming back from 4-0, which has to be great for your mental. Yeah, exactly. And a strong start here. SLK off the bar. Anyone close for Illini Esports? But again, SLK's been doing it all day long. He's been he's been very menacing on that play. He's been trying to force every ball to go his teammates' way. He's trying to, you know, open up that play for them and make this NIU team very, very awkward as Again, they're playing faster. They know that they can't be giving up any balls for free here. Yeah, you know, I mean, all of these players have looked fantastic today. And speaking wow. of a fantastic player, we're going to see Hertz with another one of his trademark power shots that finds the back of the net. And I was going to say, SLK had that touch there. It looked like he wanted to double it off because that was bouncing up and out. He wanted to get another touch there. Couldn't get there. And again, that's punishing, and that must hurt. You know, that must hurt to be that close to having it, that double not go that way but falls into his own net yeah uh, that's 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 challenging and we'll see it looks like hertz is gonna get another one that is a he crazy is angle on fire and i like i can't even imagine how how great it feels to be just slotting every single touch you make sometimes it's hard in rocket league to you know take a shot from those angles but he's slotting everything like it's nothing it's like he's doing this in his sleep yeah he i mean they look great right now and if this is the if the, like i said earlier if this is the niu that's come to the grand finals we're probably not even going to go to game five they're just looking completely dominant right now and again it's it's been their it's been their bread and butter 2-0 lead within four minutes they've been they've been coasting and you know we saw it last game if you know line esports orange gets that goal soon it's a whole different ball game, you know. They came back. Yeah, I felt like conceding four goals left the game way, way too open. Um, but you know, two goal lead here is nothing that isn't, you know, nothing you can't overcome. Yeah, it's nothing to scoff at for sure. We're seeing uh, NIU on the defensive half a little bit, which is something we haven't really seen that much. It seems like most of Illini Esports' goals have been from counterattacks, so we haven't really seen a chance for that NIU defense, which we know is very strong to um, really show why they're that strong. Oh, Osho was going for a very tough read there because he knows that their team has to get on the board here soon. I mean, three minutes is still a lot of time, but the offensive pressure that they have to put on to overcome this defense, I mean, it, it's daunting. Yeah, and looks like we're going to see more chances here for NIU. And, you know, I mean, if they win this series or if they win this game, I'm just doubting that Illini Esports have enough in the tank to come back from uh Having to reverse sweep in yeah. the bracket reset. A reverse sweep in the grand final is probably the most daunting task that any any championship winning team can ever face. Even with the you know the um, the honors that SLK has with you know those two land victories, um, and even S or more rather V and OSHA with one uh, under their belts as well, it's going to be tough tough in, uh, for anyone to overcome a 2-0 um, game lead and currently you know 2-0 series score. Yeah, and we're just seeing NIU really playing their game now. They look uh, completely in control of this. And, you know, when a team is clicking like this, it is really hard to stop them. You have to basically force them to play on your own. Um, I've said it a couple times now, but I just want to see Illini Esports looking for demos um, and, you know, trying to play the pace that they want to play instead of just letting NIU dictate that pace. Yeah, and again, it's that game where they let SLK kind of be that uh, instigator, kind of force all those all those touches to be very awkward from NIU as again they're trying to make these touches Osho now left alone here he has to be careful it's it's getting spooky now as this time dwindles down yeah you know we haven't even really seen that many chances they had a bit of pressure earlier Illini Esports Orange but they didn't really have a chance to capitalize on it and you know if they're not even getting chances then I just have oh. to doubt how much they're going to be able to do but like even a there it gets a little scary but you know NIU looks like they're in complete control of it Oh, they're left very awkward here. I mean, we saw. I just saw Osho trying to steal that boost and be. Again, they're trying to be. They're trying to change up that pace of the game. Trying to slow down how fast this NIU team can be moving. But again, not enough. As again, this NIU team is moving cohesively. They're chaining off of each other so well. And this one might just be in as well. Fantastic save from SLK to keep his team within the series. Yeah, the captain of Illini Esports Orange uh, showing, leading by example there. Um, you know, they've had to deal with so many tough shots here from uh, NIU, and, you know, if they can start to solidify their defense a little bit more, maybe we'll see them having a bit more of a chance in this series. But with one minute left to go and that demo coming in from Hertz, I'm just not liking their chances here. You know, a minute left, I mean, it's tough. This might be this might be falling in here. Great save again, SLK. He's, he's trying to pick up his team, trying to lead them. But I think what they need, 
what they need right now is a goal. They need something to come into to fall into their lap as again this ball falls out to them. A lot of ping ponging back and forth. A goal line save from Sleasley, and he's been on fire, both offensively and defensively. Yeah, we're gonna see Moxie banging it down the field here, and you know, every time they bang that, that just takes another five, ten seconds off the clock as both Illini Esports Orange members there are completely on top of each other, leaving Osho in the backfield all by himself. Hertz is probably going to just play it down. He tries to beat two. He only gets one. Oh, and Osho has touch. a chance there. And SLK okay. does get the dunk, which puts this game within reach for Illini Esports Orange. There's 12 seconds left here. And um, Illini Esports Orange, they showed it before that they, they can dominate kickoffs and they can chain a bunch of goals here. So this, this first kickoff here in these 12 seconds left is going to be a nail biter. Yeah, right off the kickoff, we're pretty much going to be able to tell how this game is going to end. It's going to be pretty neutral there, but it looks like Illini Esports Orange are going to get possession. They do have a oh, little bit of a touch. double commit there on the wall, but Sleazley has a booming clear. Wow. And he gets that touch, and that's probably going to be it. That might be falling. Oh, and that's it. Now. They're up 2-0. That is going to force the reverse sweep is going to be needed for Illini Esports Orange if they want to keep their hopes of winning this land alive. Yeah, and it's, it's hard to say it, but triple match point. Something that very little teams can, you know, come over, you know, get over. But triple match point for NIU, I feel like they're ecstatic right now. They Everything's in their hands. They have to keep up this play, this phenomenal gameplay. That's now four straight wins, you know, between the first grand, you know, the grand final, now this bracket reset. Four straight wins. Two O's in the first four minutes, controlling the game from there on out. I don't know what else Alana Esports can do here. They look dominant right now, and I guess the only thing is that, that I'm worried about with for, for NIU is if they get too ahead of themselves and they think, oh, well, it's just one game, and, you know, that's when the, you know, you get you get too excited and then it starts to creep in and you make mistakes, and, you know, that's when a team like Alana Esports will punish that and get back into it really quickly. Yeah, they're going for some strong, you know, strong early touches here, but, again, they have to keep this ball close. Um, they can't give NIU anything. I mean, Sleasley's up early there. And they, again, they're, they're fighting to keep up that, that consistent first early goal as that flies in. Go away goal right now. Moxie, 1-0. I mean, we're, we've seen NIU just scoring so quickly in every single one of these games, and that's, again, the team play between Hertz and Moxie. I don't know if they've known each other before college or something, but their synergy right now is off the charts. Yeah, and that's definitely something we can ask them because they are playing like they've been playing since this game came out. This game has been out for seven years, and that flies off. Osho keeping his team alive here, trying to slot it in. Wow, they're capitalizing on everything that Illini Esports Orange can do here. That was a great touch from Moxie there. He made that threatening, and, you know, V just had to get any touch possible, and Sleazily was positioned perfectly to capitalize on that. And once again, we see an early 2-0 lead for NIU. It's, it's very, very daunting here for Alina Esports Orange. They have not been able to answer that call of, hey, you're losing 2-0 again. Four minutes, 30 seconds left again, two minutes or two goals more rather, what can you do? A tight shot there, they're fighting. That post right now is saving NIU, and I feel like that's the luck that they've been getting as well. Yeah, that was an opportunity that I think Illini Esports Orange needed to capitalize on. They need to get one of these goals back really quickly, or it's just going to be like the rest of the games where you know, they just let it get away from them, and by the time that they finally score, it's too little too late. It's crazy to think that um, all that has happened, and... You know, it's only been a minute into the gameplay. We're still, there's still so much time left for anything to happen. And if Illini Esports Orange want to keep, you know, keep their hopes up to win this championship, they need an answer soon. Yeah, SLK is going to play it around. And it looks like this could be a chance developing here, but Sleasley is going to get control off the ceiling. And, you know, we've seen what this man's mechanics can do. He gets bumped off the play, but Moxie's going to be there to continue pushing it downfield. I feel like for NIU, it's just, you know, praying that this you know somehow this clock winds down faster because they've been looking solid and they don't even have to do much more besides keep this ball out of their own net keep Illini Esports Orange contained in their own half as a very you know again they're trying to get aggressive now this is this is their tournament life here this is everything this is a championship yeah you know and I just wonder if uh, NIU are going to be able to stay composed here like I said it's pretty easy to let a, a goal uh, a lead get away from you especially playing against a team like Illini Esports Orange we saw that earlier but you know I think if they continue playing their game and the the, the lower the time goes the more Illini Esports Orange are going to have to force opportunities and when that happens a team like NIU is going to be able to punish them for that 
100% and this ball might roll in 3-0 two minutes and 34 seconds left on the clock what can Alana East Coast Orange do? This this NIU team is performing so well. So many aggressive plays. So many great plays where they're they're leaving the ball, laying off the ball for their teammates there, and just another goal added to this impressive goal tally. Yeah, once again we see the NIU team just uh, cooperating so well there. We see Sleazily leaving the ball for Hertz. Uh, we've seen what Hertz's shooting ability is like, and Sleazily helps him even more by just taking uh, the defender right off the goal line in SLK. But once again, we're going to need to see a goal from Alana Esports Orange here right away. And this could be their opportunity, but Osho can't quite get a touch on that. I can't say I blame him, but, you know, those are the kind of opportunities that they're going to need to convert. They had a demo. The net was more or less open. The ball was just sitting there, but they weren't able to convert on it. It's going to be a tense two minutes here. I mean, this in game one, that's where they started to try to come back. They try to claw their way back, but it's tense. It's, it's very hard and very difficult from this position to, you know, have any strong result happen. Yeah, you know, and we're just going to have to see how this game develops. But like I said earlier, the, the lower the time goes, the more NIU is more or less guaranteed to win. We're going to need to see Illini Esports forcing opportunities here as we get closer to, um, you know, uh, the last minute of the game and pops possibly the last minute of the tournament if they don't get something pretty quick here. Oh, strong shot potentially here off the bar. Sometimes, you know, that's I feel like that's just Rocket League for you. Trying to get every good shot every you know every good well placed shot but the other team just too consistent you know um you know maybe even you know too smart you know sometimes that game iq comes into play here as osho is clawing the ball out of his own net there yeah we're seeing another great shot there from hertz but it doesn't quite go in but they don't even really need to score again i mean if they did it would be nice but with a three goal lead with only a minute left at alina esports is going to need a goal which that could be it, but it's just off oh, oh, the bar not again. Not quite there. Once again, the crossbar hero for NIU. And, you know, if they had that one, maybe they have some kickoff magic. But, you know, if that doesn't go in, I'm not sure they have much of a chance here. Yeah, and with every second is just another second closer to a phenomenal run, phenomenal comeback story for um, NIU here. But it's not over yet. Another, you know, another shot trying to be placed in that bottom left corner but another niu player just there ready to block it yeah with 20 seconds left i think this game is this game is over you know niu is they've looked fan, absolutely fantastic in the bracket reset and you know they definitely deserve this tournament win yeah and again it's that gameplay it's that consistent pressure that they had that cohesiveness that have led them now to a championship and we hear the cheers outside on the arena for niu are your redbird rocket league land 2023 champions and you can see how much it means to them it's not on the camera but you know they are so happy to have won this game and that was a great showing from them yeah phenomenal showing we'll be cutting um to a break really quickly as we get the players ready for um the trophy
very glad to have you guys. Next up, I'd like to welcome a very high caliber player who helped NIU contribute to their win. Hertz, come grab your trophy, bud. Cool. There you go. Yeah. What would you say you gathered from this tournament so far? Uh, it was a great experience overall. Um, thank you guys, first of all, for hosting this. And um, yeah, it was a good experience. Well, I have to sure. say. Great experience. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Next up, we got Maxi. Moxie? Maxi. Moxie. Sorry. I couldn't read it from there. Moxie. There you go, sir. Yeah. Eugene, you want to ask a question? Yeah, I mean, you guys are all performing so well as a team. How does it feel to play with, you know, such great teammates? Oh, my God, I love my teammates so much. I, I, they're some of the best players in the state and the college scene. So to, to be able to play on the – sit in the middle and be the hype man, I guess, for our guys, it, it means the world. I, I love these guys so much. Great to hear. Again, great performance today, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, and last but not least, we'd like – oh, there you go. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, but, Last but not least, we'd like to announce a special award. It has nothing special about it on the award, but we'd like to announce it still. The MVP of this tournament. Please come up. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Here you go, bud. Yeah. This is Sleazley. So, Eugene? Yeah, I mean, you. every single game, I felt like you had a different highlight play. I mean, again, uh, what is the feeling to be taking this team with you to this championship? Oh, they're not taking it with me. We're all together on this one. I mean, I love my teammates. Uh, you know, everything that we do together, we've we've gone through. I don't know if I'm allowed to say hell, but that's we've yeah. we've gone yeah. through that uh, to get here. So it feels really good to have them at my back, and ha I'm with them, and they're with me. So you know, overall, it's a great experience to to, to have that type of thing, connection. Yeah. Great congratulations on your MVP and your tournament win. A little round of applause for you guys, huh? Woo! Yeah. You want to give it a little outro? Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. And you know, thank you for everyone involved in this, all the teams for coming out. Uh, it's been a great event. I feel like we've had some really good Rocket League played. Um, and yeah. Couldn't ask more than a bracket reset. Congrats, guys. <laughs> thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is awesome.